Elder Hugh B. Brown, formerly a member of the Twelve and a counselor in the First Presidency, provided a personal experience. He told of purchasing a rundown farm in Canada many years ago. As he went about cleaning up and repairing his property, he came across a currant bush that had grown over six feet high and was yielding no berries. So he pruned it back drastically, leaving only small stumps. Then he saw a drop like a tear on the top of each of these little stumps, as if the currant bush were crying, and thought he heard it say, How could you do this to me? I was making such wonderful growth, and now you've cut me down. Every plant in the garden will look down on me. How could you do this to me? I thought you were the gardener here. Elder Brown replied, Look, little currant bush, I am the gardener here, and I know what I want you to be. I don't intend you to be a fruit tree or a shade tree. I want you to be a currant bush. And someday, little currant bush, when you're laden with fruit, you're going to say, Thank you, Mr. Gardener, for loving me enough to cut me down. Years later, Elder Brown was a field officer in the Canadian Army, serving in England. When a superior officer became a battle casualty, Elder Brown was in line to be promoted to general, and he was summoned to London. But even though he was fully qualified for the promotion, it was denied him because he was a Mormon. The commanding general said, in essence, You deserve the appointment, but I cannot give it to you. What Elder Brown had spent ten years hoping, praying, and preparing for slipped through his fingers in that moment because of blatant discrimination. Continuing his story, Elder Brown remembered, I got on the train and started back with a broken heart, with bitterness in my soul. When I got to my tent, I threw my cap on the cot. I clenched my fists and I shook them at heaven. I said, How could you do this to me, God? I've done everything I could to measure up. There's nothing I could have done that I should have done that I haven't done. How could you do this to me? I was as bitter as gall. And then I heard a voice, and I recognized the tone of this voice. It was my own voice. And the voice said, I am the gardener here. I know what I want you to do. The bitterness went out of my soul, and I fell on my knees by the cot to ask forgiveness for my ungratefulness. And now, almost 50 years later, I look up to God and say, Thank you, Mr. Gardner, for cutting me down, for loving me enough to hurt me. God knew what Hugh B. Brown was to become and what was needed for that to happen, and He redirected His course to prepare him for the Holy Apostleship.